column there. <laughs> it's like over engineered for a bridge that small. It's kind of over engineered, but you know what? We like bridges. Alright, so the. It's right there. I'm gonna make the. the columns a bit thicker. Ah, there's some trees here. This block. Hmm. Okay. And then column there. Bethesda has announced Elder Scrolls 6, although they didn't really show any, um, they just showed a, a terrain mesh with like mountains. <laughs> there's no gameplay, there's, there's nothing. They basically told people they are making Elder Scrolls 6. I wonder how that's coming along. It's gonna take a while, right? This, these trees, I don't want to chop these trees down, but perhaps a year too long. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna take a long, long time to make an Elder Scrolls game. How does this sequel should have been out within ten years, in my opinion? But here's the thing with Bethesda: is they have Elder Scrolls. And they have fallouts. 
and they kind of alternate. And maybe, I mean, maybe you, maybe you can argue that that's a bad idea, <laughs> which, I mean, may maybe it is. <laughs> But I also suspect that they they needed to do a big rewrite of their engine. Skyrim was okay. Fallout 4 kind of was not okay. The engine didn't really uh like it was pretty rough. Elder Scrolls, I mean, uh, Fallout 4 was pretty rough. And I think they need to do a pretty serious rewrite of, of the game engine. Because you can only have so much legacy code before it starts really dragging you down, right? Um, and then they made Fallout 76. <laughs> and I think Fallout 76 also gave them quite a lot of trouble. They made multiplayer. <laughs> they turned their engine multiplayer as though that's like an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to do. And especially if you're trying to turn a single player engine into a multiplayer engine. Like, Right, the engine was not designed for multiplayer at all, at any point in time, and then they just like put multiplayer in. So it's not like they haven't made any games, it's like... I think they're basically trying to work on their engine. So it doesn't... so, so that Elder Scrolls 6 doesn't just collapse under the weight of its own complexity. <laughs> to them on that effort. <laughs> Alright, this bridge is a little bit over-engineered, but that's fine. Let me uh, stick some lanterns here. that I have before. What uh I want this to be glass. Grass I mean. Um and let me just stick that there. Nope, stick that there. Both Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 were games that I think, I think the games were great except for the game engine. Like the the thing that let them down was the game engine. I think the game engine not really keeping up with what the game designers wanted to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Especially, I've said this before. Fallout 76, the world building is superb, in my opinion. And like, I, I really want to just spend time in that world that they built. But man, the, the engine. <laughs> the engine and the fact that it's a multiplayer, unless you, pl you pay extra. It's multiplayer unless you pay extra for single player. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> right, 
right, isn't every other game, if you have to play extra, if, if you have to pay extra, you have to pay extra for multiplayer, right? No, in Final 76, if you want to pay extra, it's just pay extra for single player. <laughs> So, uh, dubious decisions, dubious business decisions, and game design decisions, in my opinion. But aside from those things, the world building is great. I just want to, I just want to like inhabit that world. <laughs> Pay extra for single player. <laughs> Absolutely bizarre. Bizarre decision making in hindsight. <laughs> I think some people do, I'm not sure. I wonder how many people actually do. Okay, like before I make them seem like really unreasonable. The thing is, they designed the game to be multiplayer from the ground up. And so in order to play single player, you have to do extra work. The extra work being that it's still always online, it's still technically multiplayer, but they give you a dedicated server of your own, so you're playing multiplayer by yourself. <laughs> That's single player. Single player Fallout 76 is playing multiplayer by yourself. <laughs> and the reason you have to pay for it is because you have to like pay for the server, because otherwise the server that'd be maybe like about eight people on the server. If you're playing uh, the actual multiplayer. And there'll be like just eight random people on the internet. Which again, that's kind of a disaster, just like matching you with completely random people. Not sure why game developers think that's a good idea, right? Especially for an RPG, <laughs> like it's not, it's not like it's Hearthstone or anything. It's an RPG where there's no real reason for multiplayer interactions. <laughs> But they made it multiplayer only. <laughs> and then because the game can only run on servers provided by Bethesda, they didn't like put in any option for local servers. Or like for, they didn't allow you to host your own servers or anything. Because of that, in order to play single player, you have to like buy the whole server. <laughs> Decisions. And, and why? <laughs> That's uh, it's a very interesting take on video games. shame. I've said it before, like if Fallout 76 was single player, I'd be playing it a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. Even with the bugs, I would play it a lot. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, I guess I'd do that. 1, 2, 3, 4... One, two, three, four. 
but I guess I'll do that. But you know, who knows? The fact that they're spending so long on Elder Scrolls 6 suggests that they are going to spend whatever it takes to get it right. And hopefully that means it's going to be a great game. But that's all speculation right now. It's possible that they took what they learned from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 and decided to never do it ever again. How would it be? How would it be to like hack your own private server? Right, like just like <laughs> I just realize I'm <laughs> suggesting doing more modifications to Fast 76, which is already a bit of a a buggy mess already. Like, how intensive is that Fallout 76 server anyway? Right, like, can it run on your PC while you're also playing the game? Or is it, like, so processor intensive that you can't actually host the server and play the game on the same computer? Right? Like, why? Why, why is single player so hard? <laughs> For a company that used to only make single player games, <laughs> why is single player so hard? <laughs> Glass. Um, let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good enough. Imagine if the server was also like a buggy mess. <laughs> The only reason the server keeps working is that there are humans, literally humans, monitoring them 24-7 to like fix the things that go wrong in real time. <laughs> Imagine if that's what the 76 servers were like. That can't be true, right? 
It can't be like that, right? <laughs> well, with Bethesda games, anything is possible. 